Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 273 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and in today's episode, we're going to be back out at the Greenwood Memorial Terrace out here in Spokane, Washington, and we're going to be talking about a war hero who went by the name of Private Theodore Wanatabe. Let's get into this. Private Theodore Wanatabe was born on February 24, 1924 in Washington State. His father, Takashi, emigrated from Tokyo, Japan on the SS Dakota, arriving at Seattle on February 2, 1907. He worked his way up to the position of foreman on the Northern Pacific Railroad. Ted, as Theodore was known, attended high school in Moscow, Idaho, and then he attended the University of Idaho for two years, and he was in the ROTC there. He had considered becoming a pharmacist. He registered for the draft on June 30, 1942, at the Lataw County Local Board in Moscow. At the time, he was a student at the university. He enlisted in the Army on May 25, 1944 in Spokane. After training at Camp Shelby, he was sent to Fort Meade, Maryland, and then to Italy as a replacement for the 3rd Battalion, 1st Company, 442nd Regimental Combat Team. His exact date of arrival in the European theater is unknown. Replacements arrived at the end of the Rhineland campaign in November of 1944. During and after the Rhineland Alps campaign during the winter of 1944 and 1945, and just prior to the beginning of the Po Valley campaign in Italy in March of 1945. The objective of the 442nd in the Po Valley campaign was to participate in a surprise diversionary attack on the western anchor of the German Gothic line in Italy. The center of this elaborate system of fortifications had been pierced in the fall of 1944, but no one had yet been able to pry the Germans loose from the western end. The Gothic line in this area was hewn out of solid rock, reinforced with concrete, and constructed as to give all ground protection and observation. They were dug into mountain peaks rising almost sheer from the coastal plain, bare of vegetation, save for scanty scrub growth. Starting on April 3rd, the 442nd's 3rd Battalion pushed the Germans north. And by April 18th, the 3rd Battalion was probing from all angles of the hub of the enemy defenses, which were being bitterly defended. All of these thrusts were being beaten back by the Germans. Most of the 442nd soldiers had been climbing up and down 3,000-foot peaks for two weeks without much rest. It was during these battles on April 18th that Private Theodore Wanatabi was killed in action during direct combat. The field hospital record states that he died on the battlefield from a head wound, and he was then buried at the U.S. Military Cemetery in Italy. For his military service, he was awarded the Bronze Star Medal, the Purple Heart Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, the European-African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, with one Bronze Star, the World War II Victory Medal, Distinguished Unit Badge, and Combat Infantryman Badge. Ted was also awarded the Congressional Gold Medal on October 5, 2010, along with other veterans of the 100th and 442nd Regimental Combat Team. This is the highest congressional civilian medal. In the year 1948, the army began the process of closing the smaller military cemeteries in Italy and offering the family the choice of reburial 
at the large U.S. military cemetery in Florence or returning home. Ted's family chose to have his remains returned. Private Theodore Wanatabe was reinterred in the Greenwood Memorial Terrace here in Spokane, Washington. A full military service was held for him here on December 4th, 1948. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.